Hey guys, Abs here. Welcome to a demonstration video of WP Silos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the WP Silos plugin on your WordPress blog. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do, guys, is go over to plugins, add new, upload the plugin onto your um, WordPress blog, activate the plugin, and once you've activated the plugin, guys, um, you'll see we've got WP Silos 2 that has actually been activated down here. Um, it might read something different, guys, because this is actually a test site that we've been changing around, um, but as long as you've got WP Silos on there, you, you know you're on either version 1 or version 2. Okay, so we're going to go over to settings, and over, and over in under the settings area, um, you should have a link that goes to WP Silo settings. Um, there's no activation code or anything to add in here, guys. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do before we start changing around and playing with these settings is I'm going to show you exactly how everything works together. Um, so for our pages, um, our home page, sorry, our front page will need to use um, an actual page. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create pages. So I'll go over to my pages here. And I'll actually show you my pages here. I've got dedicated hosting, reseller hosting, shared hosting, VPS hosting, and web hosting. Um, and if you have a look down here, guys, you'll actually see we've got a field down here that says interlink category. Now, if you don't see SEO title, SEO description, SEO keywords on your WordPress blog, then not to worry, guys. This is because I'm using an all-in-one SEO pack plugin. Um, so interlink category... Um, as you can see, I've linked the dedicated hosting page um, to a dedicated hosting category, the reseller hosting page to a reseller hosting category. And the way we do this is we come over here, we create a page. After we've created the page, um, we go over and create categories. Um, when we create the categories, um, we're going to link the category to a page that we actually created on the previous step. Once we link the page to a, cate to a category, um, then we're allowing our system or our coding um, to show recent posts on the page um, for whatever category has been assigned to it. So this is where it keeps the silo structure and recent posts only for that category um, that has been assigned. Um, another good thing to to, to, uh, to keep um, in mind, guys, um, is the slug. So for example, if I've got dedicated hosting, um, I want something like dedicated hosting here as well. So I'd have something like dedicated hyphen hosting. Okay, just like this, um, and that's what my slug would be. You need, you don't need to add a description if you don't want to add a description. That's entirely up to you guys. Um, and this is exactly how the setup works. Um, what we need to do then, guys, is actually go over to our appearance widgets, um, and we, in the widget section, you'll actually see one plugin, or sorry, one plugin on here, uh, one widget on here, sorry, called Interlinks Widget. The Interlinks Widget is the widget that actually comes with WP Silos, um, and you just place this wherever you want to place it. Um, so as you can see, the only thing that I have in my sidebars um, is the interlinks widget. Um, and there are no options with the interlinks widget, guys, because all the options are in the settings. Um, so that's what you've got to remember to do is add your interlinks widget in um, wherever area you want to place it, guys, um, and that'll get everything done for you. OK, so let's go over to settings and let's take a look at settings. Um, oh, sorry, I need to go over to posts. Let me show you how to assign post categories. Um, so inside of posts, um, as you can see, guys, I've got my posts here. It tells me exactly what category they're in. So I've got affordable web hosting inside of the web hosting category, all about web hosting inside of the web hosting category. We've got premium dedicated hosting in the dedicated hosting category. Um, so all we have to do is when we're making a post make a post as we normally make a post um, and just assign it to the right category as long as we're putting it in the right category you can be sure that the software is going to be showing the related posts and it's going to be showing the recent posts um, for whatever category you've put that in so as long as you put in the right category you're going to show related um, posts and everything exactly what we want okay so WP settings WP silo settings guys OK, so we've already been through these on the main video um, number of recent posts and everything you can change here I didn't um, touch on this guys and um, with this with the pages um, with related articles and recent post the actual headings um, you can change them from whatever headings that you want you can use a heading one tag heading two tag heading three tag um, that's entirely up to you um, so this is WP silos um, 2.0 guys um, or WP silos 1.0 depending on what you're working the only difference is is you don't get to work with that if you're on version 1.0 um, okay one last thing that I would like to point um, or that I would like to bring to your attention um, is is what happens um, with the actual category pages so if you if you are familiar with the way WordPress works um, then WordPress has an actual landing page for the category pages as well so I think the best way to show you this example um, would be to go over here 
and show you here. Okay, if I if I hover over this web hosting, um, I'm not going to click it yet. I'm going to click it in a moment. But if you look towards the bottom left hand side, as you can see, the URL is seomated.com forward slash test forward slash category forward slash web hosting. I don't want this category page. Um, I wanted the category page to be my landing page. Um, because we're in the web hosting category so when i click on this it's going to actually take me to my home page so here you go guys as you can see that's taking me to my home page i'll show you this on a dedicated hosting category it might give you a better understanding here okay so here we go so we've got obviously you can take these out from your theme where it says posts in dedicated hosting or whatever um it is a good idea to take it out as well um so i will be taking it out or because this is a test blog i haven't really played around with it too much but as you can see down there towards the top towards the bottom left hand side it says seomated.com forward slash test forward slash category um, and then it says dedicated hosting um so we want to remove that category um and we want it to forward straight to dedicated hosting um dedicated hosting is the actual page and the category dedicated hosting has been assigned to the page dedicated hosting so we want to remove all the categories from there if i click on this link guys um what you'll see is that it will actually take me over to dedicated hosting and it will ignore the category and the reason and and the way we've actually got this done or the way i've managed to get this done um is by using a 301 redirects plugin the plugin's name itself is called simple 301 redirects as you can see here simple 301 redirects is by scott nelly or nell um, and what you'll notice here is uh how i'm actually doing it so all of my category pages okay so i've got one two three four five category pages um all forwarding over to the actual pages that i actually created so the actual pages so the categories and assigned to the pages then pages what they're forwarding over to um however the actual home page silo um so you've got the web hosting page because we've already linked that to the home page which i'm going to show you now i'm pointing that over to our home page and then obviously we've got the category page for the home silo which is linking to the home page as well okay so i'll show you this reading sorry Okay, in reading, as you can see, um, the front page displays, it displays a static page and the front page is web hosting. Okay, obviously you can choose whatever pages you want to put down here. Uh, but my front page is web hosting. And as you can see, guys, we've got a sitemap um, page as well, but you never see a sitemap on here. Um, and the reason you never see a sitemap on here um, is because we didn't actually create a category for a sitemap um, so our plugins using its own logic um, based on categories and pages being combined and linked together um, so please do keep them steps in mind um, and uh, um, yeah I really hope you enjoy working with the plugin guys so thank you very much and if you have any questions please free, please feel free um, to go over to our support forum and fire away uh, your questions and we'll be happy to help thank you very much and see you soon